guys, Brandon Collector 62492 here with another review. And today we're going to be looking at one of seven of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie Legacy Figures. This is to commemorate the 20 years of the movie. So let's take a whack at it, see what we can do. Yes, I just used a lot from the movie. You want to take another whack at it? How about taking another quack at it? Okay, anyway. So yeah, like the previous releases of the TV show versions of the figures, these are supposed to be sculpted and made to look like they're show accurate or movie accurate designs and as well as the packaging. The packaging reminisces the original style. Uh, they always had this triangle box like the 8 inch figures. So, But like I said, it's supposed to make it look like it's from the old toy line. But as you guys can see, as it says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie up at the top there. You got a nice window showing Ivan Ooze and that retro screen shot of the Rangers turned to their side and just showing their helmets. It also says that this is from the original 1995 movie, just so you guys know in case you didn't. It also says Ivan Ooze right there, of course, and that it's a Toys R Us exclusive. And in the back here, we just have a synopsis of the movie. So you guys can take a look at that. They also got a bio for Ivan Ooze, as well as a screenshot showing the six rangers as well as Ivan Ooze. So I'll eventually get the six rangers, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy and take him out of the Here packaging. is Ivan Ooze out of his packaging, and as always, the legacy stuff, like I said, blows me away sometimes, and if not, all the time. So, um, the only legacy figure I've ever actually owned was Lord Zed, and Lord Zed's a pretty simplistic design. I mean, it's not really that much to change, but, uh, Ivan News, um, it seems like they just went all out with this figure, that, especially since we had, uh, I think three or four different figures back in the 90s, and they really didn't look really good. <laughs> so I'll show some of them when there's a, com a comparison at the end of the video, but let's take a look at the accessories this guy comes with first. So he does have an interchangeable hand, which I'm going to have to focus the best I can, but there is his interchangeable hand right there, and it has a sculpted in, you know, wand. And you guys can see the nice paint detail on his fingernails. So, I don't know if it was a wand or if it was a, a flute or both, but yeah, that's the interchangeable hand. And then he also has these two uh, ooze, I believe they're drapes that you put over his forearm, which I'll show you in just a second. So, But here's the figure itself, really nice sculpting detail and paint detail. So on the head, that's where it blows me away. It looks really nice. So it looks like they put it in two pieces. As you guys can see, it looks like the there's a little crack right there separating certain pieces. So um, pretty cool overall. Nice sculpting detail and paint detail. Nice wrinkles on the robe. And you guys can see the hands. And they're really nicely sculpted. And then, of course, the nice paint detail, or detail, the detail on the chest right there. It's pretty cool. In the bottom, he does have feet, but really don't do much. Um, Articulation-wise for this guy, he does have almost full articulation in the head. He does, like, he does try to fully rotate, but just barely. Like, I can get him to fully rotate, but I'm afraid I'll break him at some points. But yeah, he does fully rotate, and then his head does move up a little bit. And it does swivel back and forth. His arms do hinge up and down and rotate up at the upper part of the arm. It does have a single elbow joint, and then he does have hinging in the hand right there. And it does fully rotate. And the feet, of course, even though these are pointless, they do kind of... You know, rotate around right there, so but still that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, we'll go ahead and put in his accessories. So what you're going to do is you're going to fully detach the upper arm portion right there, and you're going to slide this on right, like so, and you're just going to 
you know, just lay it right there. And then you can put the forearm back on. Like so. It just snaps on like that. But then you can also, you gotta remove the other one. Like that. And just slide it on like the other one. This one doesn't like to stay on though. And then snap this back on. So there is the little drape feature that actually one of my friends tried to point out it was missing. And that's actually why I knew this is what they were supposed to be. I actually thought at first these were supposed to be like little wrist attachments for the, like for him to shoot like ooze out of them. But yeah, that's what he looks like with the little, little sh shoulder drapes. But let's go ahead and put on his little uh, extra hand real quick. So like I said, it's on a ball joint and it's not as hard as the, as the forearm. But there he is with his wand right there. It's so pretty cool. So yeah, that's Ivan Ooze, basically. Really cool figure. I'm going to do a comparison with him. So first, before we get into actual Ivan Ooze, the other Ivan Oozes, let's bring in some other villain counterparts. Here we have Rita Repulsa, which came out during the Samurai line. And I have another legacy figure, Lord Zed, right there. So these three actually look pretty good together. Really cool. Now all we need is a giant egg, which I really wish they'd do is the egg with the little hand that drapes over it. And I wish it had like a removable, like, like the thing actually had a removable crack or something like that. Or you could open it up and put ooze in it or something. That would be pretty cool. Um, but, and we also need a mordant. But other than that, that's basically it. Now I will compare him to other Ivan Ooze figures right here. So this is his... 8 inch counterpart from 1995 right there so as you guys can see in some cases the purple's too light or too dark and then I also have this bendy figure right here so those are the other Ivan Ooze figures I was telling you about but anyway guys as always if you guys like my review please hit the like button if you dislike it of course dislike the video and then if you guys want to see more and keep up with my videos, please hit the subscribe button.